Welcome to another Corona tutorial. This particular tutorial is going to cover using the Corona physics and specifically creating a touch joint on an object within Corona. So I have created a simple application that, to demonstrate what we're talking about on a touch joint. Basically a touch joint is whenever we have taken an object and click on it at a specific location and then you are then dragging the object by that location inside the environment. It's fairly straightforward to create a tension joint within Corona. The first step is, to, of course, to start physics. In this particular application, I've set the display set status to hide the status bar, then set a local variable to physics, and then told physics to start running. The actual application is composed of setting my text equal to the text that's displayed at the top, which is our touch joint, loading a box which in this case is a crate PNG graphic file and I started at the top and allow gravity to pull it to the bottom and then I set the ground which is ground.png file at the bottom of the screen. Ground is a static object added to the physics body. The box is a dynamic body added to it and I've given it a density of one with some friction and a little bit of bounce to make it a little bit more interesting inside the environment. And then should the box be touched we have an event listener that we'll call the drag body function. The drag body function is a standard function used throughout Corona application development anytime we're working with physics. The drag body is composed of three different possible phases. First of all, we set body equal to whatever was tapped on, in this case our box. Then we capture what phase of event this is in three possible phases are begin, moved, or ended, and then set the stage equal to the current object that has been tapped or touched. If we are in the begin stage, then we set the focus to the crate itself and set up a temporary joint using the physics.new joint telling it that this is a touch joint and passing it the body that's been tapped, in this case our box, and where it was touched at, the event X and event Y location. If we've moved beyond the begin phase, then we're in the moved phase, moving the object around on the screen. So we then check and see if we're in the moved phase. If it is, we can set a set target method so that the body will move towards wherever the touch or in the case of the simulator, the mouse is moved to. And then if we're finished, we can just simply return the control of the stage back to the full application screen and remove the joint from the application so that we're no longer working upon that particular touch joint. So as you can see in our application, we are able to easily pull the object around based upon the point that I initially touched it at. It will try to follow wherever my touch event is at. Many possible applications for this. You could create a drawing program. Um, obviously touch events are easy to do. We can um, do all kinds of physics capabilities with this as well and do some very interesting applications in our development. Hope that this has been a useful tutorial for you. If you're interested in seeing other tutorials that I've created on the Corona SDK or other mobile application development, including Unity, Corona SDK, as well as just um, the various tools that are available for doing mobile application development, check us out at burtonsmediagroup.com, and as well as there are several textbooks and books for learning how to develop your own mobile applications.